All right, everybody, we've got one of the heroes of the 2021 big game that we thought we'd bring back and give you guys a few questions for. I think I have the stats right. Uh, it was Lou's first big game in 2021 at Stanford, and I, I believe he had an interception and four pass breakups. That was as a true freshman. So um, anyway, questions for Lou, the Magia Hearns. We'll get started with Thomas Dunn from Right for California. Go ahead, Thomas. Uh, good afternoon, Lou. How you doing? Good afternoon. I'm doing good. Uh, as someone who grew up in the Bay Area, does the big game have a special, like an even bigger meaning to you? And now that you ha are wearing the Cal uniform, does it carry a bigger chip on your shoulder as you head into Palo Alto Saturday? Um, surprisingly, not not really. Um, I didn't really grow up watching a whole bunch of college football. I mean, I played a whole bunch of different sports. So watching um, other people play sports wasn't really like part of my daily routine. Um, but now that I've played in one, yes, it definitely has a, a, a bit of a bigger chip on my shoulder. Um, being from the Bay, not being recruited by Stanford and only being recruited by Cal um, definitely plays into that. And, you know, just all the hype that goes into the big game, you definitely want to beat them. So. Thank you. Okay. Other questions for Lamagia? Go to Steve Croner from the Chronicle. Maja, how you doing? Good. Are you doing fine? Thank you. Um, I don't know if you'll be guarding him specifically, but what do you know about uh, Elick Ao Manor, and how does he uh, compare to some of the better receivers you've faced this season? Um, he's a big, strong guy. You know, um, he has the ability to play college football. I mean, he's a Pac-12 receiver, star receiver, so he definitely has some ability. Um, not going to take them lightly. We're definitely going to game plan for them and some of um, the design plays they might have for them. But, um, you know, just taking it just like we would any other game, just, you know, going in with the the right technique and the right mindset to, to dominate. Any other questions for Lamagia? Maria Coladova. Go ahead, Maria. Hey, how are you? Doing pretty good. Uh, I asked this to Fernando Mendoza as well, but uh, as someone who's been around for a little bit, do you kind of have like a favorite tradition or maybe like a favorite memory associated with the big game and all the hoopla surrounding it? Um, I have to say just the storming of the field after the game uh, freshman year and last year as well. Um, I mean, you got people from all over people come from out of the woodworks that you've never met before coming up to you, asking for signatures. You get people asking you for your helmet. It's, it's a whole bunch that, um, you know, a whole bunch of emotions that just go into this game and being able to come out victorious two times uh, now throughout my career just has been great. Okay. Any other questions for me? Go to Matt Moreno from Cal Rivals. You know, obviously you guys were able to get some defensive touchdowns, you know, last week and, and have really, you know, strong performance all the way around. Uh, David Reese had a really impressive game. Kate had an impressive game. Uh, what did you just make of, of being able to kind of put things together like you guys did this last week, especially knowing that there's still so much on the line with a couple games to go? Um, it's it's definitely encouraging. You know, we we always known we had the ability to do it, but uh, quite frankly, we weren't able to get it done until last week, you know, Definitely took a step in the right direction and looking to just build on that, you know, playing with that that type of energy and charisma and confidence. Um, just knowing that we all have the ability to make plays, you know, it could be Reese one play, it could be Kay one play, it could be me, it could be Noel, Craig, whoever. Um, you know, everybody has the ability to make plays. So just playing with that confidence and that swagger, um, it's it means the world to all of us. Okay, if no one else will ask it, I'll ask it. Luke, can you talk about that performance in 2021 and what that meant to you as a true freshman? Um, going into the game, I already knew I was going to be tested. I was tested all year. I was the, the little guy on the field. Um, being able to start the game with a pick, uh, kind of just rolled over into the rest of the game. You know, uh, confidence was high, energy was high. So just being able to stack those plays, it kind of just, you know, I was – in the zone. I wasn't really thinking about anything, just going out and making the plays that were there for me to be made. Um, they tested me a lot. Uh, I was able to come out with, I think, four pass breakups um, and then some tackles as well, I think. Um, but yeah, like I said, just after the first play, kind of just rolled over. 
um, being in that, that zone and not, not thinking, just playing free.